Good morning, Dr. Welcome to NWalk.com. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'll talk a little about uh, indirectly kidney stones. So some of us will talk about foods that are really good for us, nutritionally dense foods for us to eat, like beets, like spinach, like almonds, for example. Those foods are really good to eat, nutritionally good for you to eat. However, there is a complication associated with them in that they're high in, quote, oxalates. Now, oxalates sound like an interesting word, but they, they happen to be the most common cause of kidney stones, calcium oxalate stones. So foods uh, that's good to eat, some of them can result in some kidney stones. So I suggest two things for folks to do. Number one, I always talk about uh, hydration, drinking lots of water, eight to 10 uh, glasses of water to drink uh, daily. And some people would actually say drink water only when you're thirsty. But I, th I suppose that those people are the same people that say they'll eat food only when they're hungry. Anyway, I digress. So drink lots of water, eight to 10 uh, glasses of water. And if you can, just put uh, a tiny um, crystal or two of Himalayan salt um, or uh, 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 Celtic, Celtic salt in your water when you're drinking. Just maybe one little granule just to mineral, mineralize your water. That's the first one I'll do, number one. Number two, uh, probably twice a week, maybe, and, and for me, it's usually Mondays and Thursdays, I'll take a, take a, a half of a grapefruit or half of a lime and I'll squeeze it in my water. Grapefruit and lime are high in uh, citrate. Citrate is one of those things that help to decrease the risk of calcium oxalate stones. So the citric acid in those things will help to decrease the risk of uh, causing those stones. So number one, lots of water. Number two, a couple times a week, I add lime uh, or, or grapefruit to my water and drink and drink that. I do not do it every day because the um, those things can be acidic and they can sometimes uh, cause problems to the, to the enamel of the teeth and so forth. I, I do this just a couple times a week and I, I go from there. Anyway, thanks for listening. Dr. Walker, have a great day.